Welcome to this video. We got a Benoni. Maybe it's a Czech Benoni with E5 now. Let's see. Um, so I play it without C4 because in in some moments it's possible maybe to to move the knight to C4 here. Hmm. Okay. Let's do it directly so we avoid a bishop g4. And we can try to provoke him to play bishop g7, which I think would be very good for us. Okay, but he doesn't do it because. Uh, this bishop might become strong here later. Um, what does th this knight want to do here? So let's kick it directly away. And let's try to push for h5. Okay, here we take. And yeah, we have o not only the option to take here, but also to play h6 to make it uh, very difficult for, for black to develop his pieces here on the, on the king side. So. Okay, he, he takes his time. H6, yeah, this is why, uh, because he he can he cannot allow really to play uh, that I play H6. Um, if I allow him to play G5, I'm not sure if I really can continue to to reach something in the game. So. Um, I think I need to take here. Yeah. Hmm. And then I want to attack here h6 so that he is not, it's not a possible for him to castle. <sighs> but on the other side, I also don't want that his knight can be exchanged here against my knight. Hmm. Well, but I think there is no no choice. So I think he needs to take him now because otherwise I jump to a5 with my knight. Yeah. So this was more or less forced. What I can do is I I move the the knight via b1, d2 to c4. And here I think it would be nice to get rid of this bishop because the bishop is somewhat locked in here in the in the white pawn chain with e4 and d5 um, yeah he can play knight e4 but I threaten knight b6 And he can't take on e4 anyway because this bishop would be hanging. So now, uh, knight b6 is the threat. Well, I think I'm better developed. And is it possible for me to play knight b6? If he wants to keep the pawn, he needs to play rook to a7 and then knight to c8. And then I can take on 
on uh, d6 or on a6, right? Yeah, I think so. So now I win a pawn, and I think it's better for him to give up the pawn on a6 because this pawn is very important to to keep control over c5 okay this is strange I think uh, now this pawn is uh, getting under, under trouble and I threaten knight b6 again uh -huh. well okay then I take take the exchange Yeah, so now I don't want him to play c4. Um, knight to b6 is maybe his idea, but let's keep the possibility of um, bishop to a5. And what I also want to do is, um, yeah, taking control over c4, that he cannot move the pawn, because I think the knight would be also good here on, on, on c5. So here I put my king to c2, and then I double up the rooks on the a file. Yes. So what I also can do now is um, okay. Let's put the pressure here on on a6 and on c5. So the the knight is not doing that much. I can get rid of uh, another minor piece. But what might be interesting is also to try to push for f4 here. So I need to protect e4. Yeah, and now this is a very strong, uh, very strong pawn center. I think there is uh, nothing Black can do now uh, from stopping me to move forward the pawns here. Yes. So the rooks here are protecting second first rank and now I'm attacking c5 so let's grab uh, this pawn here and now we enter on the seventh rank and the game is over here we go I can already win the pawn uh, the rook here on, on a8 okay let's take and then we take on a6. Okay, it doesn't allow. So now let's move forward with the pawns. And now it's checkmate here. Oops, okay. Rook a8. Alright, let's uh, take a quick look. Um, because this was quite a positional game at the beginning. And. Yeah. What is important, I think, in, in this kind of position is to get rid of this bishop. The bishop is somewhat locked in um, because these pawns are white squares, so I would be happy to exchange the bishop against this bishop. Um, it didn't work here at the beginning, but later it worked. So um, what Black did is he, um, he is lacking a bit of space, so I tried to gain space on both wings. Um, because the center is closed, it's not that important that the king has not yet uh, castled. Um, but it's rather very unlikely for the king to uh, move to the queen side because it's very easy to um, open up files here on the queen side. So if he castles, he needs to castle on the, on the king side. And this is why I also attack here. 
and now I'm threatening already uh, to play h5 and h6 so he needs some counter he, he tries to get some counter pay but here you can already see that it's getting difficult for black because he has a lot of weaknesses one weakness is a a6 he needs to protect with the rook and the bishop the pawn because I attack the pawn and he gets another weakness now because he's virtually forced to play h6 h6 because otherwise I might play h6 and the position is very cramped here and yeah so this pawn is now a weakness um, after I move my knight away he cannot castle anymore and whatever he moves here a pawn he, he weakens other squares so if he plays g5 the, uh, the square on f5 and h5 getting very weak I could also already play uh, bishop to h5 for example to check the king and, and use the white squares after g5 and after h5 um, yeah the square uh, g5 would be get weak uh, so um, yeah I think here in this game you could see that uh, space advantage is quite useful because uh, white has a lot of space advantage and at the same time it's good to get rid of the so-called bad bishop it's always um, the bad bishop is called the bishop who is on the own uh, who, uh, where the most of the own pawns in the center are placed like black's bad bishop is the one on g7 because it's somewhat locked in and you could also see here now later in the game if you compare the pieces even if I you know don't win the pawn here the uh, my bishop here on, on, on c1 is much better than the bishop on g7 so what black needs to do here is to play h6, uh, h5 and um, bishop h6 to get this bishop out of the pawn chain yeah so uh, try to gain some space and try to get rid of your uh, bad bishop um, in closed positions and the bad bishop is as I said the bishop uh, where the pawns uh, are staying on the same color uh, in the center so white bishop for white and black bishop black squared bishop for black thanks for watching